So good morning, Anu. Uh, so I welcome you for the course facilitator session uh, number two for the course finite element methods and analysis. Uh, so before starting into the session, uh, let us see how the students uh, uh, precipitated the previous class. So that I will call Nitish Kumar of Third B Automobile to recall the previous class. Yes, Nitish. Good morning, everyone. Nitish. Us. Good morning, everyone. In the previous class, we have discussed about introduction to FPMA and applications used in FPMA and tools used in FPMA and also future trends in FPMA. And sir, you have asked a question about the list of five companies uh, where FPMA were used. The company's names are Rock Cats Private Limited, CSS Player IT Solution, PCAT Engineering, Pryadder Labs, and Usual Industries Private Limited. Yes, good. So give him a big applause. Yeah, great Nitesh. Over to Thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah, okay. So yeah. And I wanted to start with the pressure because it was a it was a long gap since we had our first session. So anyway, since you gave me a brief, I think we'll start with our um, current session. Okay. So my is my screen visible? Presentation. Yes. Ah, okay. So today we'll be seeing about uh, computer implementation of FPA. So like, how do we do it in uh, the CAD format? Actual computer. How does the simulation work? What are the processes involved in it? Okay. So the processes involved are uh, pretty much simple. So we'll see one by one how it is. So introduction we have already covered uh, what we have learned in the last session. So main steps involved in uh, FEA when we do it in a computer platformers, there are three steps. So first one is pre-processing. Then there is solving and post-processing. So these are the three main important steps. So since this is a computer application, so here most of our inputs are new. So things are basically uh, the the activity is done by the computer and the last one is just for the visualization of the result. So all our inputs go into the first step only. So we'll see one by one uh, what they are. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So pre-processing. So when we discussed about uh, FCA in our last session, we also happen to mention about this particular um, word called meshing. Um, so what was meshing? Can anybody give me an uh, answer? What was meshing? From this image uh, that is in the presentation, maybe you can gather some idea, right? Anybody? This first row left left side. What color is your shirt? Dark blue. Why are you moving out of the screen? Yeah, are the screen. Left side. Missing. 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 Ah, why is it for the last two minutes? Uh, we are not able to hear you since the previous ah, yeah. slide. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. 
ஓகே 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 சரி நான் வாய்ஸ் இஸ் சம்வாட் பிரேக்கிங் அப் யா நான் ஸ்டார்ட் பண்றேன் ப்ரீ ப்ராசஸிங் இப்போ வந்து ப்ரீ யா okay i just want to to know like uh, from somebody from the class uh, what is meshing meshing na enna ingirudhu yaraachu explain panna mudiyum one meshing is basically ஹலோ ஒரு <laughs> ஓகே ஸோ ஐ விஸ் இதில் மெயினாக இப்போ நம்ம கம்ப்யூட்டர் இம்ப்ளிமெண்டேஷன் வரும்போது என்னென்ன ப்ராசஸ் வாட் ப்ராசஸ் ஆஃப் ஃபாலோயிங்கிறத இந்த ஸ்லைட்டில் இருக்கேன் ஸோ இன்ட்ரடக்ஷன் நம்ம ஆல்ரெடி பார்த்துட்டோம் ஸோ தெர் இஸ் தெர் ஆர் ஒன்லி பேசிக்லி த்ரீ ஸ்டெப்ஸ் இன் இன்வால்வ் இன் எஃப்இஏ ஸோ அதில் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஒன் வந்து ப்ரீ ப்ராசஸிங் நெக்ஸ்ட் இஸ் சால்விங் அண்ட் தென் த தேர்ட் ஒன் இஸ் போஸ்ட் ப்ராசஸிங் ஸோ ஆஃப் தீஸ் த்ரீ ஒன்லி அவர் இன்பு puts is required in the first pro- first step pre processing rest all is computer com- computers side so it does rest of the things we just have to um, visualize the results and analyze them so adala first one the pre processing irudhu ipo pre processing la enna irukum appdin paathina hello anybody has any doubt okay so pre processing la there are few things so our inputs as i said is required only in pre processing so what is pre processing pre processing abingiradhu vandu so we get our cad input is a cad model whatever we want to analyze uh, whatever we want to do our uh, ca Uh, we receive it so once the cad is received uh, we will import it into our uh, fe application so there we do some uh, cad cleanups so then uh, we'll be uh, so when you receive it as a cad it is just a 3d model okay for for a 3d model to be analyzed you need to give some like what material are we considering so if it is an automotive application uh, it is a part in an automobile so we have to assign the material or if it is a general uh, engineering material we have to assign that particular material material properties and the boundary conditions so by boundary conditions what it means is like what application is it going to be used for ipo enna stress analysis pannanum amma adha இப்போ இஸ் இட் கேரிங் அ லோட் அது ஜஸ்ட் ஒரு லோட் வந்து கேரி பண்ணுதா இல்ல அதுல என்ன டைப் ஆஃப் லோட் அப்ளை ஆகுது ஆல் தீஸ் திங்ஸ் வி வில் பி கிவிங் இன் ப்ரீ ப்ராசஸிங் ஓகே சோ தட் இஸ் பேசிக்கலி ப்ரீ ப்ராசஸிங் சோ இஃப் யூ டேக் அன் இண்டஸ்ட்ரி பெர்ஸ்பெக்டிவ் அட் எனி ஸ்டேஜ் இஃப் இட் இஸ் நாட் கிளியர் டூ லெட் மீ நோ ஓகே கேட்க முடியலங்கிற மாதிரி ஏதாவது இருந்துச்சுன்னா பிளீஸ் லெட் மீ நோ 
Sorry? எனக்கு கேக்ல ஏதாவது யாராவது சொல்றீங்களா ஏதாச்சும் எனக்கு கேட்க மாட்டீங்க கம்மியா இருக்கும் மெயின் ஆட்டோமொபைல் கம்பெனிஸ் இல்ல ஏரோனாட்டிக்கல் கம்பெனிஸ் எல்லாம் எடுத்தீங்கன்னா ஆன்சஸோட யூசேஜ் ரொம்ப கம்மியா இருக்கும் ஆன்சஸ்ல எல்லா எல்லா எஃபிஏ சாஃப்ட்வேர்லயும் யூ கேன் டூ ப்ரீ ப்ராசஸிங் சால்விங் அண்ட் போஸ்ட் ப்ராசஸிங் இந்த மூணு ப்ராசஸும் ஒரே சாஃப்ட்வேர்ல பண்ணிக்கலாம் ஆனா வந்து இண்டஸ்ட்ரியில வந்து ஒவ்வொரு சாஃப்ட்வேரும் ஒவ்வொரு அப்ளிகேஷனுக்காக ஸ்பெஷலைஸ் பண்ணிருப்பாங்க அதுதான் இந்த ஸ்லைட்ல எக்ஸாம்பிள் எல்லாம் காட்டியிருப்போம் இப்போ கீழே பார்த்தீங்கன்னா மெஷிங் சாஃப்ட்வேர் இப்போ கேட் சாஃப்ட்வேர் உங்களுக்கு மேபி தெரியும் சாலிட் ஒர்க்ஸ் கேட்டையெல்லாம் அது வந்து கேட் ஜென்ரேட் பண்ணுறதுக்கு அது இல்லாமல் மெஷிங் சாஃப்ட்வேர்னு கொடுத்துருக்கிறதுல ஆன்சஸ் மெஷிங் தனியாக இருக்குது ஹைப்பர் மெஷ் தனியாக இருக்குது ப்ரீ ப்ராசஸிங் இப்போ மெஷின்க்கு மட்டுமே ஒரு சாஃப்ட்வேர் யூஸ் பண்ணுறாங்க இண்டஸ்ட்ரியில் அந்த மாதிரி தான் இருக்கும் மோஸ்ட்லி ஹைப்பர் மெஷ்ஷு அந்த மாதிரி ஒரு சாஃப்ட்வேர் தான் மெஷிங்கிற ப்ராசஸுக்கு மட்டும் யூஸ் பண்ணுவாங்க ஓகே மெஷிங்கிறது என்னென்னா அந்த கேட் மாடலை வந்து ஸ்மால் ஈக்குவல் பார்ட்ஸை டிவைட் பண்ணுவாங்க அதுதான் மெஷிங் அப்படிங்கிறது இப்போ இங்கே டாப்பில் இந்த இமேஜ் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா தெரியும் காரோடது சின்ன சின்ன காம் சின்ன சின்ன எலிமெண்ட்ஸாக ஸ்பிளிட் பண்ணியிருப்பாங்க அந்த ஒரு கேட் மாடலை வந்து சின்ன சின்ன எலிமெண்ட்ஸாக ஸ்பிளிட் பண்ணுறது தான் மெஷிங் அப்படின்னு சொல்லுவோம் இப்போ அந்த மெஷிங்கிற ஒரு கம்ப்யூட்டரில் வந்து அப்ளிகேஷன் ரன் பண்ணணும் அப்படின்னா வந்து இட் ரிக்யர்ஸ் நிறைய சாஃப்ட்வேரோட கேப்பபிலிட்டி வந்து ரொம்ப அதிகமாக இருக்கணும் அப்போ அதனால தான் இதுக்கு தனியாக ஒரு சாஃப்ட்வேர் வச்சுருக்காங்க ஓகே அதுதான் ஹைப்பர் மெஷ் அப்படிங்கிறது ஆன்சஸ் மெஷிங் இதெல்லாம் மெஷிங்க்கு மட்டும் யூஸ் பண்ணுறது இந்த மெஷ் பண்ண டேட்டா திருப்பியும் எடுத்து ப்ரீ ப்ராசஸிங்க்கான ஸ்பெஷலைஸ் பண்ணியிருக்கிற சாஃப்ட்வேரில் எடுத்து போடுவாங்க அந்த சாஃப்ட்வேர்ஸ் தான் இங்கே மென்ஷன் பண்ணியிருக்கிறது அண்ட் அதுவும் அதுலேயே ஆன்சஸ் ஒர்க் பெஞ்ச் இருக்குது அபேக்கஸ் இருக்குது அப்புறம் ஆன்சாங்கிற சாஃப்ட்வேர்ஸ் இருக்குது அப்போ அதெல்லாம் இருக்குது ஓகே ஸோ இதுதான் ப்ரீ ப்ராசஸிங் ஒருத்தர் <laughs> Clarity Hi sir, myself Parvindam. Uh, in pre-processing, okay. we came Hi. across how we uh, design a quickly based on the input data and we go through some of the analysis uh, by uh, some of the softwares. Okay, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. In pre-processing, we have design vehicle design. Uh, அதுக்கப்புறம் இம்பார்ட்டன் என்ன ரியல் டைம் அப்ளிகேஷனில் என்ன மெட்டீரியல் இருக்கோ அது வந்து ஒரு வுட்டா இல்லை வந்து ஸ்டீலா அலுமினியமா 
So you assign that particular material. Okay. Material assign one of the government material properties will be assigning it. Young's modulus, poison's ratio, in the Marie Dala. Either law on the over material constant. Tha. So you can get these values from online also. Okay. So in the mid first is assigning material, then you assign material properties. Second thing. Third thing is load conditions. So you are creating a part to be used in a particular place, right? So on the application la yenga on the part fix ayirgo, yenga on the weight tired ago, up being the load conditions. Either define pandra the preprocessor la main and either define pandra the capra, other capra irkada, the inu important meshing. Meshing la on the ungluk where inputs a dula, evolo china the ungluk mesh agno, evolo evolo adigama on the elements in the single element on the evolo size la conungur the matun, you define panduing. That's the meshing. Please make a note of the important hints that is provided by the resource person so that uh, you can have the idea about the stage. So already you have studied the uh, stages of FEM, am I right? So the first stage is pre-processing. So there you will uh, you will have all the input data and parameters related to the model, right? So there you will generate the mesh and you will uh, define the properties of the uh, element. So that is what uh, the resource person is trying to convey here. So I request uh, the students to listen keenly and to interact with the resource person. Yes. Is there anyone to clarify your doubts regarding pre-processing? Yes. Yes. Yes, Anup. Continue. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay. So either when you try to understand these things, in your own bar technical terminologies which confuse panic having a poem, real time in the part on the end of the ideology, the end of process of the upbringing of the poem mindset. But things will be more easy for you. How it is happening in the real world. Okay. So next is solving. So once your model is pre-processed, meaning it is defined with all material, material properties and load conditions, you will run solving. So solving is nothing but once you either, if it is a different software for solver that you are using, you just import and run the solving. So all the things that is happening in the solving is done by the computer itself. So what happens in solving is it runs the mathematical equations that is required. So you can do testing, structural, fluid dynamics, uh, thermal pondering law. So there is different mathematical equations required for each of them. So the computer will run, run the particular what is required. Okay, so this happens in the software itself, back end of the software. So you, you don't have to do anything in specific. So there are specific softwares for solving also. And, and there are softwares like answers where you can do uh, pre-processing and solving together. Okay. So next is post-processing. Post-processing is nothing but Visualization of interpretation and analysis of processing. So, once you are done with the solving, then you go and check the post processing result. Upon you will get an image something like this on the top. You will have a color gradient which will indicate the particular uh, whatever analysis you have done. Maybe it is displacement, maybe it is stress. Thermal change. That's why you can display the result. That's why software is the key mentioned which uses post processing only specifically for post processing. Okay. So, either just how a post processing runs in a fluid analysis. So, or a fan is a Fan order, uh, so in a check panonga in the fan on the pro produce pandra airflow order speed are so outer line speed, inner line speed, in a velocity, Elena, a lot of uniformity in Zulang over the uniformity of flow. In the Marie saying, other check panonga, okay. So, this is basically steps involved in um, CAE, 
இங்க ஒரு கம்ப்யூட்டர் இம்ப்ளிமெண்டேஷன் பெர்ஸ்பெக்டிவ்ல பாத்தீங்கன்னா இதுதான் உங்களோட ஸ்டெப்ஸ் இன்வால்வ் இதுல ஏதாச்சும் டவுட்ஸ் இருக்கா யாருக்காச்சும் Anybody has any doubts? Okay. Okay, then we'll move on. So I'll just give you a brief of an example. So I'll run a video. Before that, I'll just uh, give you a brief of what is, what is happening in the video. Okay. So this is the static analysis. Uh, so there is two types of uh, structural analysis, static and dynamic analysis. So st- static abdina vand if there is a component adil uh, load act agudna what is happening in to that particular part for that load enna nadakkudha adu evlo bend avudha illa enna agudha deflect avudha abdingra check pandra static analysis ana ipo time time bound ah ipo adu vand inna time la evlo agudhu andha mari impact abdingra bodu adu vand dynamic analysis ah marum so ipo nama vand static analysis paapom okay so idhu dhaan ungala basic inputs ungalku require that is required for you before running a simulation material nama pre processing ku theva petta inputs idu da material material properties load conditions load definitions mostly for a particular material it is uh, uh, constant and details are available online for you okay so inge enna solli irukanga oru cantilever or beam irukke and the beam la vande oru object ukkandirukke adu vande oru weight irukke so adu vande and the beam on என்ன ப்ராசஸ் நடக்குதுங்கிறது மட்டும் பாத்துக்கோங்க பண்ணிருக்காங்க so when software changes your interfaces will change the tools ana process will be the same so just see what is happening okay so left side la what you see is okay i have a correction here i have written it as directory for saving files but left side la what you see is tree model tree so in every even if it is a ca application or a cad application so you will have a model tree model tree enna pannona whatever you do whatever activities you do adu store pannu நீங்க ஃபர்ஸ்ட் பண்றது செகண்ட் பண்றது அதெல்லாம் ஸ்டோர் பண்ணும் சோ யூ கேன் எடிட் இட் ஆர் டிலீட் இட் வாட் எவர் யூ வாண்ட் டு டு யூ கேன் டு இட் தி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஸ்டெப் இஸ் செட்டிங் டைரக்டரி உங்களுக்கு வந்து ஒரு நீங்க ரன் பண்ண போற ஃபைல் அதோட ரிசல்ட் சேவ் பண்ற லொகேஷன் செட் பண்றீங்க அவ்வளவுதான் நெக்ஸ்ட் வந்து மெட்டீரியல் டிஃபைன் பண்றீங்க உங்களுக்கு ஒரு பீம் இருக்கு இந்த பீமுக்கு வந்து என்ன மெட்டீரியல் வேணும் இங்க வந்து இங்க வுட் சூஸ் பண்ணிருக்காங்க அந்த வுட்டுக்கு ஒரு யங்ஸ் மாடல்ஸ் ஒரு பாய்சன் ரேஷியோ அசைன் பண்றாங்க ஓகே நெக்ஸ்ட் வந்து லோட் கண்டிஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் மிஷின் ஸோ லெஃப்ட் சைடில் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா லெஃப்ட் சைடோட இமேஜ் வந்து எங்கே லோட் ஆக்ட் ஆகுது எங்கே வந்து ஃபிக்ஸ் பண்ணுறாங்க அந்த பீம் வந்து எங்கே வந்து மவுண்ட் ஆயிருக்கு அப்படிங்கிறது ஒன்று ரைட் சைடில் லெஃப்ட் சைடில் வந்து அந்த லோட் எங்கே ஆக்ட் ஆகுது அப்படிங்கிறது ஓகே இது மெட்டீரியல் கண்டிஷனும் லோட் கண்டிஷனும் கொடுத்ததுக்கப்புறம் மெஷ் பண்ணும் மெஷ் பண்ணும்போது எப்படி வரும் அப்படிங்கிறது தான் ரைட் சைடில் உங்களுக்கு இமேஜ் வருது இதான் மைன்யூட் ஃபைனைட் எலிமெண்ட்ஸாக உங்களுக்கு ஸ்பிளிட் ஆகி வந்து அதிகமான <laughs> இப்ப நம்ம இதே வந்து ஒரு வீடியோ பாத்துருவோம்
ഹലോ ആണോ ഹലോ ആണോ ഹലോ So in this video, we are going to solve a static analysis problem using Abacus. And I chose this kind of a funny problem. So there is a monkey sitting on a bar and we are going to model this problem. So as you can see over here, I just simplified this diagram. So there's a cantilever beam. And the dimensions of that beam are given over here. All dimensions are in meters and we will assume monkeys applying uniform force over this area. These are the material parameters for wood and this is the pressure applied by monkey so this is the first example in series and we are going to model bending of 3d beam let's start so first start abacus select with standard and implicit model then the first thing you should always do is set working directory so this is the folder where all, all your abacus files will be generated so you can create a new folder and select that folder so i'm choosing this folder now you can see there is a model tree over here and I always like to go in a sequence. So just start with the first thing, part. So let's model part first. So first to create part, you have to click over here. So, yeah, so here what they are doing, uh, modeling the beam or, so since Abacus is a simulation software, your modeling uh, features will be very less inside this. So, you can design basic structures like beams, uh, which are in basic shapes and all. So that and all you can do it. But usually in industry, you don't design anything in a uh, CA software. You import it from a CAD software because your CAD components are pretty much complicated. So if you take a car's components, maybe door or the whole car itself, it's a very complicated design. Uh, so you don't design anything in um ca software you design in a 3d software and then import the data here okay here for uh, it, since it's a simple thing he is designing it here itself okay then let you name to this part i'm going to say beam so select 3d deformable so i just fast forward this now first you have to create a rectangle or enter co coordinate so i will enter here 0 comma 0 that will be first corner one corner one meters. So this is our beam. So he now, has designed it. Next part is property. So in property, we will create material. So you have to click this to create material. Then the name of our material is wood. Then you have to go to mechanical, elasticity, and, and elastic. We are just going to assume it is linear elastic material. So Young's modulus is 8 into 10 raised to 9 pascals. So we are keeping units meters and pascal and poison's ratio we are assuming 0 0.3 i know it is not the real poison's ratio for wood but we are just assuming it click OK. okay then next thing what you have to do is you have to create a section so to create a section click over here now i will give the name as wooden section and then solid homogeneous click continue it will ask you for material so now we have only one material so by default it will be selected just say okay and finally assign section so click on this and then you have to select the part which you want to assign wooden section to so select over here and then say done it will ask over here which section again we have only one section so by default it will be populated say okay and then part should turn kind of greenish that means we are good so next thing is assembly so in assembly, we have to create an instance of that part. Just click on instance, and then there is only one part. Click OK. Instance is created. Next thing is step. This is the create step button. Just click this. Now we are going to create a static step. So I'm going to name this 
steps also as static and here you have to select static general so static step means we are not considering inertia or any time dependence so time period just keep it as one keep all the values as default as of now you don't have to change anything so just click okay now next So in load now we and we want to apply pressure over here because our monkey is sitting here. Now to apply pressure over here, first we have to create a partition to identify on which area we want to apply pressure. So for that, let's go back to part. So now first thing that he did was imported the part. So then he assigned all the materials and material properties for that. Then he put it into an assembly uh, setup. So, so every part has to be, it has to be an assembly setup. That is where it is assembled. So here it's all happening for a single part. So we are just virtually assigning it like one part, one end is fixed and the other end is loaded. So there is no other features here. Okay. Then what he did was set the static parameters, just named all the static things and all. Then now he's defining the load conditions. So. So where that particular load application zone is going to be and where will be the part held or fixed. OK. Now in part, you can choose partition face by sketch. So what we are going to do is we are going to select this face, the top face, and we are going to make a partition over here. And this area will be where we will apply pressure. So just click the top surface, say done. Then it will ask you select an edge or axis that will appear vertical and on the right so that you have to select this axis so it will just align the part so you can sketch easily now you have to select this line tool and remember we just want to make a square over here you can see over here we want x coordinate 0 0.4 and we just want to keep that x coordinate 0 0.4 then Again, click the middle button one more time. Say done. And you can see there is a partition. So we will apply pressure over here. Now let's go to load. So in load first, we want to fix this. So you can just rotate this. We want to fix this side. So create a boundary condition. Over here, go to initial. Now name this boundary condition as fixed and end. Over here, select this end cost tray. We want to <coughs> fix this, this side. So just continue. Then select this side. Say done. And over here, choose the last option. So that means U1, U2, U3, all the degrees of freedom are zero, which means it is fixed. Say OK. And now we have to apply pressure over here. So for that, create load and here. So to apply pressure, you have to go to second step, which is static, what we created. And here, select pressure, mechanical pressure. Continue, select this area, say done, and value of pressure in our case is 30,000 Pascal. Say OK. So you can see over here pressure. So now you can see our beam is fixed over here and there is a pressure over here in downward direction. OK, next step is meshing. So go to mesh module. Now our mesh has to be on the part. So just click on the part over here and then you will see part will become green. So this green part means it is going to be a structured mesh. So that's a good thing. You don't have to worry anything about that go to mesh over here and go to element type and then select this part and click done so abacus will select appropriate element type according to your step but this is just to confirm so this is a 3d stress element standard linear so keep everything default you don't have to change anything over here click ok then we have to seed the part so this is a seed part so over here, seed means how fine mesh you want. So I'm going to go with 0 0.01. Apply, so you can see 
this find the mesh will be. So say OK. And then mesh part. Say yes. Done. Now the last step is go to job. So in this case, you don't have to worry about this interaction optimization. Just go to job directly. Over here, create job. So I'm going to name it as example one. Continue. Don't change anything over here. Just say OK and you will see. Job will get created over here, so if you click on this sign, you can see example one. So here job is nothing but till now what was happening is pre processing. OK. So all the steps that uh, he did was for pre processing. So moving that pre processing to. The solving stage is nothing but. Uh, in Abacus, they call it as job. So they are defining a job and they moving it into solving stage. OK, over here. So now we have done everything. So just. Right click on this and say submit. And it will say submitted. You can also monitor the progress. So to do that again, right click on this and. Go to monitor. So over here you can see. The progress of simulation. So firstly, it will do pre-processing and now Abacus standard is started. So that is the solver. And our job is very small, so it is finished very quickly. So then dismiss this. And to see results, right click again on this and go to. So this is a visualization module. So over here, if you want to see deformed shape, you have to click on this. Plot contours on deformed shape. The wooden beam is bended because of weight of the monkey. So this one as of now. Is showing stress so that you can set over here. This S is stress and we are seeing my stress. So how the stress distribution is over here, you can see you can see the values and if you want. To see a displacement, you have to go to U. So this is the magnitude of displacement, so you can see the. End of the beam is displaced by. 1.4 into 10 raised to minus 3 meters. So that means around 1.4 millimeter. That makes sense because monkey's weight is not that much, right? And then if you go to your previous folder, which you set as working directory, you can see all these files are generated over here. So the important file out of this is this one, ODB file. So this has all the results. And just one thing to remember is this shape is over exaggerated. So if you click over here in common options, you can see the deformation scale factor. It is 71. Whatever deformation of beam is happening, it's exaggerated 71 times. You can set it to one and then you will see the actual deformation. So that is negligible because beam is one meter and displacement is one millimeter. So this is just for visualization purposes. So that's it for today. If you like this video, please show your support by subscribing to this channel. Hello. Yeah, OK. So. I'm audible now, right? Yes, or no, yes. Yeah, so. Here, if you see uh, whatever he did was in a Abacus software. So software is a different so software is if you see all the process involved will be same. OK, so but the interfaces will be different. Where this uh, particular um features or these uh, things that are located uh, all these kind of uh, where that part part is there or assembly is there machine is there all these things will differ uh, other than that the process is the same and what other thing is different is how how uh, specialized or good the software is things will happen fast 
and things will be more simple to execute so if it is a low in software it runs slow and it it might not be easy that you just click and do you might have to do some extra steps to reach that particular thing okay this is the difference in different softwares so for uh, um, academic purpose we'll go with with ansys so industry softwares and all is a bit difficult to get hand on uh, so but you just have to understand the process so we'll go with uh, ansys um, so you can download ansys software if you have laptops and all you can download ansys software from their website i'll just show you that also so if you go to ansys website so there are free trials so if you get go there there are student editions and all so you can download free softwares from there okay so you can mostly download the first one the mechanical and the student version okay so maybe next we'll see some other uh, simulations like uh, um, dynamic and thermal analysis and all then maybe we can do a cad modeling also i'll show you how we can model a part in a software cat yeah so, so how many of you know modeling 3d modeling any software is that you know just raise your hands if you know 3d modeling beat any software okay fine so maybe in one class we'll see uh, 3d modeling in cat yeah how to model a part in that part itself we will um, do some analysis on that part okay okay then so any doubt in this sessions or uh, is do you is there any particular requirement that you want to know in the next sessions also you can let me you know now nobody has any doubts also okay and uh, any specific requirements that you want in further sessions okay you can uh, check it if uh, if there is anything specific that you want to know related to this uh, you can let me know in the next session also so we can wind up this session right The answer is uh, software. But I'm sorry, man. Sir, student version is free. I like that. Free, da. Free, da. Free version, da. Student version is free. Okay, sir. Okay. Sir, if if you create, sir, download from the website. Let me know. I will share it. Ah, na in the website, da na share it. Na la. Ah, ma sir. Show you this website. இந்த வெப்சைட்ல நீங்க ஃப்ரீ ட்ரையல்ஸ்ல போனீங்கனாலே உங்களுக்கு இந்த இதுக்கு வந்துரும் இதுல ஆன்சர்ஸ் ஃபார் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ்னு இருக்கும் ஸ்டூடெண்ட் என்ன கேக்க சாரி ஓகே Share me the URL so that Please I can share among the students. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll share the URL as well. Yeah. So it will take you to this page where you have multiple um, and student versions, electronics. The thing is, okay. And the many different types are there. That's why you can first one select one. I'll share this link. Okay. Okay. further okay thank that's you. it yeah okay thank you thank you anup i hope the session was uh, very useful for the students uh, they are uh, able to visualize how the ansys is uh, used in the company and uh, with a live example of that uh, uh, cantilever beam problem that is a monkey sitting at one end of a 
for uh, that modeling uh, they have visualized how it is uh, happened and uh, students are very really keen to know about the analysis part and i hope uh, they will download using this uh, url ansys and they will install the student version and they will try among themselves and they will come back with the uh, with their views in the upcoming class i thank you for your valuable time thank you Anand. yeah welcome and thank you all okay then so we'll see in the next session yes anu yeah thank you